Pepco constructs an underground transmission line in several phases. This includes surveying the project area, preparing engineering drawings and traffic control plans, seeking and implementing required permits, and performing the construction. Pepco places a high priority on maintaining traffic flow for both the safety of commuters and workers. Therefore, traffic cones are used to guide motorists through the construction zone. In most cases, a minimum of two lanes, one in each direction, will remain open to traffic. Construction workers use asphalt saws to cut the existing roadway and remove pavement. Once the area is prepared, a backhoe will excavate approximately 20 feet of trench per day for the placement of the future transmission line. In order to meet safety requirements of jurisdiction, the trench is shored up to ensure stability. PEPCO utilizes either fiberglass conduit or steel pipe for underground transmission lines as determined during engineering. Shown here, construction crews will install conduit and place it into the trench using reinforcement bars to hold it in place. Concrete encasement or thermal backfill is poured into the trench to encase and secure the conduit. After several hours, a slurry mix is poured and steel plates are placed on top to protect the site and allow traffic to continue to flow. After the concrete is set, the steel plates are removed and the trench is repaved in sections. For some projects, underground transmission lines must cross intersections during the construction process. In these cases, traffic control plans are customized for each intersection to maintain traffic flow during construction. Maintenance vaults are required for underground transmission lines and will be installed to provide access for inspections and repairs. During the entire construction process, traffic cones are used to protect the site and guide motorists through the area. Construction of one vault typically requires two lanes of traffic. Construction crews saw cut the pavement and break it up before using a backhoe to excavate an opening. To prevent cave-ins and support the vault, shoring and cross beams are inserted. A crane is used to lower precast sections of the vault into the hole. Once the vault is fully assembled, the shoring is removed and the area surrounding the vault is filled with a slurry backfill concrete mixture. Each vault has two access openings that are sealed with a cast iron manhole cover. When the vaults are secured, transmission line crews can begin to pull the transmission line into place. This process will require closing two lanes of traffic. Construction crews will utilize special equipment to pull the transmission line into place. The pulling process will occur in segments between maintenance vaults. At one end, a cable reel truck is parked near a manhole. And at the other end, a winch truck is stationed. A pull tape is hooked to a second winch and placed near the reel truck. This pull tape is placed inside the conduit before being lowered into the trench. A steel line is pulled through each conduit. Once the steel line is pulled through the conduit, it is connected to a second cable, which is in turn pulled back through the conduit by the winch truck. This results in the final pulling and placement of the transmission line cable. All cables are then spliced together in the maintenance vaults and the lines are tested. This is a continuous operation that cannot be interrupted and takes approximately one week per splice. During that time, traffic will be reduced by one lane. At this point, the underground transmission construction is complete and all equipment is removed from the site. The final step in the process is energizing the new line so it can begin to provide electricity to Pepco customers.